Welcome back to Florida Fish Hunter TV. I'm your host Bruno and once again we have another DIY project. This one involves adding an AMA and a motor mount to a 2019 Hobie Pro Angler 14. Now this AMA mod has been done before to my personal kayak which is a 2012 model so there are some slight differences but everything else remains the same. This is my buddy's kayak, so I'm doing him the favor of uh, applying this mod to his. And so we're gonna get into it here and I'll show the highlights of what's different. Now for the new people on this channel, if you don't know what I'm talking about concerning the AMA mod, um, I'll add an existing link somewhere up here um, to the full explanation on how that mod is done, which won't be covered in this video. But let's give a little sneak peek to my personal kayak and what we're talking about. Check it out. Alrighty, what we got here is a template for the rear crossbar mounts. I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and then we're going to go ahead and tape them onto this aluminum 3 16 inch thick plate and cut them out. So let's go ahead and start doing that now. All 
Alright, so I went ahead and got these cut out. I got them taped in place. So that way it'd be easier to go ahead and cut them out and mark out the holes and get everything done that we need. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and center punch these holes. Alright, time to cut it out.
All right, let's start here from the bow. Here goes your front crossbar. As you can see the mount here, you still have to use the shim. So you can have the correct angle here and raise it just above this hump here on the forward edge of the uh, Hobie. Now for this screw here, there is a brass insert inside the hull. You're going to have to drill through that and go all the way through so you can attach this hardware. Um, on the older Hobies, that was the case anyway, but on these newer ones, they have a brass insert. So that's the only real area that you got to drill all the way through, but it's a non-issue. If you ever wanted to take this off, to keep it for your next Hobie and uh, put it back to stock, it's just a matter of putting the screw through your plate here and attaching the nut on the other side. Now what's nice about locating it with this one screw hole, which is the reason that I mount it this way, is so that you can still clear use for your sail, sail mount here. Also, it gives you just enough clearance here for you to uh, access your bungees and open your hatch and close it. So it doesn't interfere. If you were to make an opening here, um, you can go ahead and attach fixtures, whether it be camera mounts or whatever, right on here, light bars, whatever you want to do. Okay. When you, oh, also, when you are mounting this forward screw, uh, I would recommend that you take these rod holders out and uh, get them out of the way. You don't want to end up drilling through them and it just makes it easier to access the screw and the nut from the bottom. I'll have a video showing that, um, its final positioning once, it, once we get this done. Okay, here's the rear setup. As you can see here, um, I opted to go with putting braces on, just like on my model. And this is just to reinforce this here, because basically what's holding your engine, whole engine mount are these two long bolts, okay? Other than that, I mean, it really doesn't need it, but I like the added security of having, having this on here. This is just simply utility light mounts, bar mounts, that I got on Amazon, and I'm using these to attach it onto your Hobie bar here so that you can mount these not an issue on your rear crossbar as you can see here hopefully um, they're mounted to these plates and I'll have a separate video on how I make these these go ahead and attach to the groovy landing gear which was a whole different setup from mine and I show how I did that using uh, these um, bolts that are modified you can see some of the anchor points right here okay uh, what I like about this 8020 extrusion is that you can simply remove your caps here these screws are kind of long um, so if you may if you get shorter ones probably a lot easier but uh, once you remove them you have access to your guides for mounting rod holders, camera mounts, things of that nature. Then you just strictly go ahead and cap them back on. That way, uh, more security and it closes off your 20, 80 20 extrusion from getting junk inside. As you can see here, the crossbar just clears these angles on the groovy mount. So it's awesome. It does raise your handle mount another half inch from where the groovy caused it to come up. So I elected to make uh, custom bushings here shaped like the end of the handle and this is about an inch and there's an angle to it for a cleaner look and a cleaner mount let's get some more views from this side you can see your two angles supporting your bottom mounts now these are threaded right here okay 
that's where your bolt comes through and threads onto this piece. Once you remove your mount, if you're not going to use it and you're just going to use your Hobie, the traditional method, you do not lose your groovy uh, mounts here for accessories. You still have it available using the smaller 8020 extrusion. I get a little bit better lighting here, but you can see where your two mount bolts for your plate for your crossbar are right there. Okay. And here's another look at the other side here for uh, mounting your brace. This is just a cutting board from Walmart. I think it was 88 cents and we just melted it over so that you'd have some protection on your aluminum when you clamp down your motor mount and of course these are easily removable so if you decided to take this whole mount and flip it and do your motor from the left side of the vessel then it's just a matter of taking this and flipping it so that your motor can rest up against this end instead of this end if you flip it over, you'll see what I mean. But you just easily remove these from here and just slide it off. So here I use the same method. I use the light bar mount here to hold your well, your bracing for your for your rear aka metal mount here. This is where it locks in. Now I couldn't use the original hole for this light bar mount because the end of the um, mount bar would hit and wouldn't go in so I chose to thread it drill a hole and thread it right here and put the bar mount here works out perfectly so no issues there once you get your once you do this first get this installed um, and you put your um, aka bar you can go ahead now and move this back and forth until you got your aka bar straight across and then lock this into position and you're all set. Um, if you decide to run two akas or two amas on your Hobie then same principle here another one of these would go on that side and then you'll be all set just like uh, on Adventure Island. Here goes another view of the mount and the shim. The shim is required. Other than that, let's go ahead and uh, show the removal of the engine mount so that you can see a little bit more details about where these lock in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the these braces. nice about this setup you don't need any tools let's go ahead and remove the other side now you just lift and remove that's how simple that is. So let's take a look at this here. As you can see, I drilled straight into this 8020 piece of extrusion. And now you still have your track available from where your 8020 would have for accessory mounts. Same thing applies to that side. So there it is, mount hole. I just went ahead and uh, cone shaped this in so it just makes it easier to get the screw started in there. But if you drill it correctly, you don't have no issues. I did run a small shim right here you, when using these angle brackets just so that you'd have access for your accessory rails here to go down 
I didn't want to go all the way down. All right, so let's go ahead and get this back on and show how easy it just mounts on when you want to use the engine mount. I like to get both started first. Get these in position there, and now you can go ahead and tighten. solid it ain't going anywhere now when I was installing the um, let's see here when I was installing the bars to hold the crossbar you are going to have to raise this groovy groovy mount up to get the T, t bolt started and I'll have a video or I have some pictures showing it. Uh, when I was doing this mount, um, I did lose the footage of installing this, but I do have some pictures showing it. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Nothing to it, really. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. That's all that I have for today. And I hope it helps those that are seeking to do something similar to their hobby and my approach that I took on how to accomplish this mod. On that note, let's end the video doing the traditional video walk around of my buddy's Hobby PA14 2019 model. Till the next one, see ya.